Hello there! I'm Scotty, and you're not. And continuing on to be horror weekend four. Uh, we are looking at Hell Knight, starring Linda Blair, Peter Barton. It is about these four uh, pledges for a a. Uh, Fraternity slash sorority who are told they have to stay a night in this house that's supposedly haunted or contains a mongoloid. No, it's not politically correct name, but that's what they say. A uh, person and they get more than they bargained for. Uh, yeah, so. Uh, yeah, so I heard about this movie from Drum Dumps. I was watching one of his streams and he was talking about this. And I was just like, when am I going to find that somewhere? I looked it up to buy the Blu-ray, but I found it on Tubi. And I thought, why well, not just watch it on here? It was a candidate for a Tubi Tuesday, but <clears throat> we're going to watch it here. We're going to talk about it here in Tubi Horror Weekend 4. That's Roman numeral. I that's why I keep doing that. Uh, Linda Blair, fresh off the success of The Exorcist and the flop of Exorcist 2. She is playing the character of Marty. She's one of the four characters, along with Seth, Denise, and uh, Jeff, that are put in this house by this snobby asshole type guy who says you have to stay. He tells him the story that there's this guy who uh, was married and he and his wife tried to have kids, uh, three kids. And uh, the kids kept coming out messed up. It was like two sons and a daughter, I think. Andrew and Morris were the other two, the two boys. Mother went nuts, killed his children and his wife and then himself. Uh, but the police couldn't find the body of Andrew anywhere. So they say that to this day, Andrew may still live in the house somewhere. So they... Our four main characters are put into this house to stay there for the night. And if they survive, then they're in. Uh, so once they get in there, they basically pair off. You have Denise, which I think is her name, pairing off with Seth. She keeps calling him Wes for some reason. She's all messed up on quaaludes and, and alcohol and stuff. She's all messed up. And, uh, Marty and Jeff kind of pair off. Uh, I think the way that they present Linda Blair in this, like, she's supposed to be like, I don't know. I mean, Linda Blair's a good actress, but she comes off all, I don't know, Miss Farm Girl or something like that. Like, very innocent. And I get that, I get that for your final girl. You kind of want that, but like, I don't know. She's trying to come off as all farm girl, but she got cleavage showing the entire movie. I don't, because she's got to be the opposite of the other girl who's having sex with Seth upstairs in one of the rooms. Meanwhile, you have the pranksters, the frat guy and his friends trying to do pranks. And these people. And what kept pissing me off. Alright. One of the characters name is Scott. That's my name. And this asshole. I don't know how many fucking times he says the name Scott. But it was getting annoying. Especially when it's your own name. He keeps yelling for him like what? What? Matt what? Why do you keep. He just keeps yelling Scott. 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 You know how annoying that is. If maybe even someone else's name. It wouldn't be as annoying. But when it's your own name being yelled at a million fucking times in a row, it's annoying. So 
So that is going to be a little scratch mark on this. Is that my name is being yelled a million times for no reason. It's just annoying. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. Eventually the Mongoloids show up. And there is two of them. Uh, some, according to Wikipedia, it's Morris and Andrew. Uh, but I am curious because they say they only found, they couldn't find Andrew's body. So where did Morris come from? Was he really dead? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, also, the score. I can't believe they were trying to do with the score. But for some reason, it just comes off as very screechy and annoying. I don't know how many times I had to turn down my sound. So when the score starts going, it gets really freaking loud to where I, it hurts my ears. I had to turn it down. But then when they start talking again, I turn it back up because I can't hear them. I hate that in movies, especially older movies where you have this sound. And the problem is, is it's most likely the score is mono. And when you transfer that to HD... It doesn't work. That's why like old Jalo films like Deep Red. I love that movie. It's a great score. But it's in mono. So it screeches. When mono. When you try to put mono sound in a high definition. It doesn't work. And it comes off screechy. You have to convert it to stereo first. And a lot of people they don't do. A lot of places they don't do that. They just put it into HD and make it look good. But the sound of the mono soundtrack doesn't work. I'm just saying. It doesn't work. There's a lot of times where they do have that HD restoration of the sound. HD 5.0, 5.1, whatever. Surround sound thing. Which is cool. But they didn't do it. But they said it comes off very screechy and annoying. Uh... There are some decent kills, and it's the final kill when the Mongoloid guy, either Andrew or Mars, I'm not sure which one it is, they didn't really specify. She's driving the car, and she's screwed by the fence, but they keep on pointing that earlier, like, oh, hey, you try to climb, but you'll be missing a nutsack, and then when they Seth tries to go over it, he kind of gets, almost gets skewered. You know, there is a lot of scenes where they're just walking around this place trying to figure out what's going on. That can get a little boring. Also, Seth disappears from the movie for a while because he runs off to tell the cops. Of course, this is a horror movie. They don't believe him. So he just able to take a gun to the police station to go back. He steals a car. And he goes, I'm going to call the cops. He goes, do it! Because he wants them to show up. But they don't. And it's I don't think it's because he didn't call the cops. I think it's because... There was nowhere for the cops to go. Like, he stole the cop. The car. He stole the car from this guy in the middle of the street and then drove off. He didn't really. I don't know if he really told him where to go. I don't know. But. Yeah. Uh, Peter Barton, if you don't know, was in Friday the 13th, the final chapter. He would be in that after this, actually. It's 81, that was 84. So. But, uh, yeah, I thought for, he, I think, I thought he did a decent job. He was like the male character, the main male character trying to hit on her. And she's like, oh, wrong bed. And he's like, eh, I think they do eventually hook up. But he's supposed to be the normal sweetheart, final girl type character. So they don't, they don't do that. But you never know. Uh, overall, I thought this movie was okay. Uh, it's not... I, don't know, I might watch it again, give another chance, I don't know. Well, I eventually buy the Blu-ray, well, it's Scream Factory, so I might, but I don't know. It's, some of those movies, I just, like, I get the idea to buy them again. Like, say, My Bloody Valentine, uh, I, when I first watched it, if you watched my review, I didn't particularly care for it. Now, I think it's a good 80s slash, I came out the same year as this. And so maybe I'll, my opinions will change on it. But for now, I'm going to give it the middle of the road. Uh, there are some good things in it, but it just didn't impress me, you know, too much. But, you know, it's not bad. It's the middle of the road. So far, there's two middle of the road movies, ladies and gentlemen. 
But uh, what are your thoughts on Hell Knight? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'm Scotty, and I'll see you in the next one.